Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I'm going to show you the best AI tools for creating YouTube videos. These tools can transform your YouTube studio into anything you can imagine, allowing you to change your entire setup. They can edit your videos with just one click, saving you hours of time. They can also turn poor quality audio recorded on your phone into something that sounds like it was recorded with a professional microphone. I'll even reveal the best script writing tool for YouTube, which is so good it created the script you're listening to right now in less than 60 minutes. Let's begin with tool number one. If you're using ChatGPT, stop and switch to a much better free tool called Google Gemini. This is Google's version of ChatGPT. I use Google Gemini for everything, from coming up with video ideas and titles to writing video descriptions. Since Google owns both YouTube and Gemini, the responses it produces are far better than what ChatGPT can do. In fact, I use Google Gemini to create 90% of my video introductions on this channel. I've left my Gemini prompt in the description of this video so you can download it for free. Just copy the prompt into Google Gemini, add your video title, and it will generate an amazing introduction for your next video. You'll never have to worry about creating video introductions for YouTube again. But what if I told you there was an AI tool that could script your entire video in less than 60 minutes with incredible precision? Well, there is, and it's called Subscriber.ai. It's what I use to script this video. First, it analyzes your entire channel including your audience demographics, their interests, what they like and don't like, absolutely everything. Then, it analyzes how you speak and sound in your existing videos. This way, the script it generates sounds just like you and uses your words and terminology. It can even reference other videos on your channel, ensuring it doesn't create a generic ChatGPT script. Subscriber.ai walks you through the entire script writing process. It starts by identifying your video title, thumbnail, hook, and the key points you want to cover. Then, it asks you to add some research files, like other YouTube videos or blog posts, to give the AI context. From this information, it generates a unique and amazing script for you in seconds. The reason I really like this tool is because you still add your own thoughts and feelings into the script writing process, so there's still some level of human input, and your videos retain that human touch. It doesn't sound like a generic ChatGPT script, as I mentioned earlier. Combining the speed of AI with your personal input results in a great script that captures your voice and vibe in a fraction of the time it used to take. After the script is generated, you will still need to make some edits. It's not perfect, but it does about 80% of the work for you, which is a huge time saver. If you're interested in this software, use the link in the description to get 10% off. It has been a game changer for me and has made my workflow much faster. Speaking of game changers, there's another incredible AI tool that will revolutionize how you edit your videos. It's called Gling. Here's how it works. Upload your footage to Gling, and the AI goes through the entire video, finding all the mistakes, awkward pauses, and bad takes, and cuts them out for you automatically. Gling gives you an edited video with a transcript and a timeline, allowing you to add or remove parts of your video and tinker around with it. Once you're happy with the edit, you can export it to your video editing program for any final tweaks. I can't imagine going back to the old way of editing my videos, using the eraser tool to cut up all the little clips manually. If that's what you're doing now, you need to stop and start using Gling because it will save you so much time. While Gling takes care of your visuals, what about improving the audio quality of your videos? That's where this next amazing AI tool comes in. This audio was recorded on my phone, and the iPhone microphone isn't good enough for YouTube. But if I snap my fingers, we can suddenly change the audio to make it sound like it was recorded on a professional microphone. The best part is that this AI is completely free and requires no downloads. Just go to Adobe Podcast, then to Enhance Speech, and drag in your audio clip. The AI will clean up the audio and make it sound great. Great audio quality is crucial for YouTube videos because it makes up 50% of the viewing experience, so the power of this tool cannot be understated. The next tool is called Opus. In recent years, we've seen the rise of short-form content. I've received over 100 million views from short-form content on my other channel, which has helped me get 1 million subscribers and a gold play button. Short-form content can be powerful if used correctly, but most people don't have the time to create it. This is where tools like Opus Clip become useful. Opus Clip takes a long-form video, pulls out the best parts, makes each clip into its own short video, and adds captions automatically. This saves you tons of time because you don't need to scrub through hours of footage or write out captions. Opus does all this with just a few clicks. 
You can then post these videos on all your social media platforms to get the most value from your content. This is one of the ways I repurpose my content and monetize it on platforms like TikTok and Facebook. For example, on Facebook, Opus Clip has helped me repurpose a lot of my content and generate an extra $20,000 from adverts by repurposing content I've already made. Check out Opus if you want to save time, reach more people, and make more money. What if you want to create content for people who don't speak your native language? That's where HeyGen comes in, which is tool number six. Right now, I'm speaking English, the only language I can speak. Unfortunately, I don't speak Spanish or French. I wish I did, but with AI, the most amazing thing is that it actually changes your mouth to make it look like you're speaking that language too. It's not just a voiceover. Your mouth is actually dubbed. To do this, go to HeyGen, upload your footage, choose your language, and the AI does the rest. If you want to create a second channel in a different language, like Mr. Beast does, to reach a wider audience, this is the tool I recommend. The next tool is called FireCut. I describe this as having a little video editing assistant inside your video software because it does a bunch of things. For example, normally when editing your videos, you have to cut out all the repetitions and pauses manually. With FireCut, you press one button and it does the whole thing for you. You will still need to tweak the cuts to make them more refined, but a large part of the edit is done, saving you a ton of time. FireCut can also add captions to your videos, which saves loads of time and helps boost retention. It can also create video chapters, working out where the chapters in your videos are, and creating timestamps that you can copy and paste into your YouTube description. This saves you time doing it manually. If you edit videos for your YouTube channel, definitely try out FireCut. This next AI tool is one of the most powerful things I use. You can use this tool to change your entire studio, or add elements that are not really there. It's up to you, and we do this using Photoshop's generative AI feature. It's simple. Film your video, drag it into your editing software, take a screenshot of one frame, and pull that image into Photoshop. Select the area you want to change. For example, if I wanted to add a plant pot on the desk, I would select that area and type in plant pot. Photoshop will generate something for me. Check out the different variations and select one you like. Save the image and bring it back into your editing software, placing it as a layer on top of your main video file. Finally, create a layer mask around the plant pot or whatever you added. As you can see, if we now play the clip, it looks like there's a plant pot on the table. I also do this with thumbnails all the time. For example, in one thumbnail, I wanted to add some wires coming out of my head to make it look more interesting and clickable. I selected my head, typed in wires coming out of my head, and kept doing this until I found something I liked. Within a few minutes, I created a thumbnail that would normally have taken hours. If your thumbnails or studio need a glow up, definitely try using Photoshop's generative fill feature. It will save you time and make your channel look more professional.